In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really, really good blitz right now. This is going to pair with a great coverage defense and a really good run defense as well. And I found this blitz in the beta, and it was something that I honestly kind of went away from, and I probably should have never gone away from it. Now, we are in the 46 playbook. We're going to be utilizing the 3-3 Cub defense and this blitz is really, really, really powerful, especially um, when you pair it with the fact of some of the coverage things we can do from this that are really effective in this game. Now, if you want to get my full Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member, and it gets you access to all of my ebooks, all of the updates to those ebooks. This and we have an ebook that's literally devoted to teaching you every blitz in the game. Um, we launched that this year. It's one of our new ebooks that we did this year, and I really am proud of it. We've updated it with different patch notes and things like that, um, but it's really good. So, uh, anyways, Patreon membership, all ebooks. I think we have 18 ebooks in there. We got a brand new one on the way, but let's get in the video. So, in the Nickel 33 Cub, there is this Audible that is stock. It is the OLB, OLB uh, Blitz 1. That's the play we're going to use, and we're going to come out in nickel 3-3 cub, and what I like to do is come out and cover on Robert. I make sure everything here has to be on default, and what we're going to do is we're going to audible down to OLB blitz. So you see this is what the play art looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to press, and then for this specific formation... Um, we're going to go ahead and man that safety up on the tight end because we want to be using the guy that is on the running back. And ideally what we want to do is we want to stand right here um, or right here, depending on um, kind of how they play it. So I'm going to stand to the left here. What you're going to see, we're going to go ahead and contain. And uh, what you'll see here is we're going to get crazy pressure off the edge. As you see right there, really fast pressure. If the running back goes on a route, he's our responsibility. And essentially what we want to do is we want to make it appear to the defense as if we are covering the running back. Now, um, one of the things that's really cool that you can do with this is you can take that linebacker now that we put him in the A-gap, and we can actually man him up on the running back. So you'll see here, if I try to quick throw to the running back, um, he's going to play him, and you're still going to get the crazy pressure. So even if they try to put that running back on like a wheel um, or something quick to the flat, you'll see here that this man up is really, really, really good for, you know, attacking that. Now, again, let me just show you here. So I'm going to man that guy up right there. Um, whoops, whoops. We man up that middle linebacker on him. So we're still going to get the blitz pressure, and we're going to have the running back completely bagged. So you'll see right here, running back's bagged. We're getting the blitz pressure. Now, let's say that the running back blocks in this, in this equation, and this is going to get a little bit in-depth, so hang with me. But let's say that the running back blocks. What we want to do is we want to contain. Whoops, my linebacker messed up. We want to contain, okay? So we just want to simply contain our, our look here, and then we're still going to have that guy manned up. Now I'm going to block the running back. I want you to watch what happens. You're going to see here that this contain is going to loop around the running back, and a lot of times it's going to come in despite the fact that they blocked the running back. Okay, despite the fact that they blocked the running back, we're still going to be able to be in a position where we're going to get pretty good pressure against the running back. So again, I'm going to man the running back up. So in case he goes on a quick route, and I'm only sitting five, by the way, they blocked the running back. You're going to see the pressure. That time it did get picked up, and I will say it's a little bit iffy. But then the other thing that we can do to kind of guarantee this pressure against a blocked running back um, is we can do a couple different things. One of those things is by simply blitzing this linebacker and now we're going to be responsible for the running back so we're going to stand in this gap and what you'll see now is if the running back stays in the block we're just going to turn inside and you see we're going to come around the edge at the running back now ideally i do think it makes a lot of sense uh to go ahead and contain this defense i think it's going to be to give you the best bang for your buck here um you know but the bottom line is if they block a running back we should be able to come in completely free. You'll see here again, see that time he loops around on that left side and we're able to get the pressure. So they're not going to be able to consistently pick this blitz up even if they block a running back. Now the next thing I want to show you is what if they send the running back on a route but they put the tight end in pass pro. So they put the tight end in pass pro. You'll see here this can pick up the blitz some but you would be surprised. You will get pressure. Um, you will get pressure from this defense 
if you run it like this. Now, with this specific alignment, we can run Mike Blitz Zero and be fine because now you see here it's a little easier. Um, you know, so just kind of use your best judgment with this. But again, I'm going to put the running back in a route. I'm going to block the tight end. You're going to see right here we're able to get that pressure. Sometimes it'll scream through the A gap. The pressure comes in whether they want it to or not. You're going to get incredible sheds with this type of look. Uh, just so you know, you can crash out. Um, if you wanted to and I'll show you that real quick. Here's a crash out You see that time they're able to pick it up pretty well uh, But I will say there's a there's a lot of times where this blitz um, You know is not going to get picked up when it comes right down the a gap So just keep that in mind. I do think the contain does help. I do think standing to the left here um, is going to help And then again, we'll show you the blocked running back But when it's a blocked running back a lot of times you're getting B gap you're getting loop your pressure is really good if they block the running back. Now, if they block the running back and a tight end, I want to show you that last pass protection uh, formula. So this is them blocking a running back and a tight get tight end, and we're containing. Uh, obviously, we want to blitz our user just to kind of get that lineman to come at us. And you see here, if they block both, sometimes that safety will loop around the running back, and that's the beauty of sitting six. So you can send six at seven man pass pro and you can get a guy free, which is rare. You don't see that much. Um, and if you don't get a guy free, you're going to get a quick shed because this formation has probably got the best shed in the game. Now, how do we pair this with a coverage defense? What I like to do is a simple coverage defense. What I, what I like to do most is we're going to take advantage of these outside linebackers that they are safety so we can put them in good man coverage and then we can basically do something that looks like this. This right here is my favorite coverage defense. Uh, is basically something like this. So now we're sitting three. It looks exactly the same. Everything looks exactly the same. Except now we're in a three-man pass rush. We have everybody manned up. And we have a lot of protection over the middle of the field and on the outside for C routes. So this paired with the, the heavy pass, pro, pass coverage uh, makes this defense super, super effective. Super effective. And again, you know, if they just block, even if they just block their tight end, a lot of times your pressure is going to come around the edge. Um, and a lot of times your pressure, you do have potential in this specific defense for the pressure to even come down the A-gap. So there's so much good about 3-3 Cub this year that people are kind of sleeping on. I think the pressure comes in like way faster than people realize. And again, if they're going to block, you know, their, their running back, um, there you see we got that left side pressure against a block tight end. If they're going to block their running back, this is the best defense. And if you think about the meta, most people, the way they want to they want to block blitzes in this current meta is they want to block the blitz by blocking their running back. If you try to do that against this defense, you're going to you're going to either get shedded or there's going to be a dude looping around completely free um, at the quarterback. So this is an incredible defense. That really puts the opponent in a position where you know they have they, they have to block a tight end. And not only do they have to block a tight end, normally they're going to have to block a running back and a tight end to really pick this up. And even if they do that, you see right there, we get that loop. And it kind of gives that simulated pressure feel uh, within this defense. So this is a really, really simple but really effective defense that can attack a blocked running back and a blocked tight end. Uh, but most importantly, it really does struggle if they're going to block a running back. So... Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn my entire 3-3 Cub defense, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release. And we are dropping a brand new ebook this week. So make sure you're in the Patreon. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below and click the link down below.